Hey guys, welcome to another What I've Been Eating video. Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this one. If you want to click the link in the description to join Thrive Market and get 25% of your first order and a free gift, check it out. Also, if you want to check out my other links below, I have my other social medias and such. I do stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays around 11 a.m., just so you know. Anyways, let's get on with the video. It's Monday. I just got home last night from a trip to Arizona for Thanksgiving with family. I left my fridge pretty empty because I didn't want to like buy produce or whatever right before I was gonna leave. So I have like nothing right now. I need to go grocery shopping today. So we're gonna make oatmeal right now. I don't have any like fruit right now to put in it, but I do have some Starbucks dried fruit that came with my oatmeal that I got on the way to Arizona. I got the blueberry oatmeal, so it comes with blueberries already. It's got cranberries, golden raisins, currant raisins, dried cherries. You gotta have the uh, the salt or good minutes. Oops, how did I just... This plus two more of water and a quarter cup of milk. And let's microwave that. Dried fruit mix. I just put some salt in. Now I'm putting some cinnamon in. Also, do you guys keep your... <laughs> Peanut butter in the fridge, the pantry. Do you keep it out or in the fr in the fridge? Because I like to keep it out. I like when it's like easier to spread, you know? But sometimes I get scared because like, okay, last night I had like peanut butter and jelly and I got scared I might've got a little bit of jelly in the peanut butter. I'm scared that what if it go, what if it molds because there's jelly in it. These are the things that I think about. Delicious, yum. I can never quite get it to- how do you guys- does anyone have any tips for this? Cuz- there we go. It's closed now. But if there's a better way to do this- I don't know. Anyways, I love this thing. I'm not gonna pour it in the air. Well, I could. I could. I don't know why I'm being a wuss. A wuss. Ah! That's why. That's why. Everybody is so sensitive about tea and coffee. Just like anything that I say that I do, I just kind of accept that like people are gonna like want to kill me over it. Lately, I've been having some tea with some creamer. I bought this creamer for coffee and stuff. I prefer to not have sweetened creamers and milks because I like to be able to cook with them and stuff. Wherever I was at, I think I was at Walmart, they were out of like so many creamers and stuff. So anyways, I bought this for coffee, but since I stopped kind of drinking coffee so much recently, I've been just putting this in some black tea. I like, I felt weird putting like creamer in tea, but that's just what like the boba places do, right? I think they use powdered creamer usually probably, but I also like this little pod thing because I can just dump all the extra tea leaves out really easily. Well, it mostly comes out, you know? I don't know how much to put. It needs to be used up. Yum. <laughs> it's now that part of the video where I thank the sponsor and it's Thrive Market. Sorry, this is a heavy box. I got a lot of stuff, okay? If you've been here for a while, you know, on the previously a chill vegan channel, you might remember the videos that I did with Thrive Market in the past. If you've never heard of Thrive Market before, they are a membership-based online grocery, but they also have like house stuff, home stuff, beauty, skincare, cleaning products. They have stuff for like dogs if you need it. But yeah, they have eco stuff like clean beauty, clean eating. They have sections for like any kind of dietary needs that you have, which I really appreciate. It narrows down the options a lot when you're shopping online. Like I hate just overwhelming choices, you know? It's good to be able to not only narrow it down to like snacks or like condiments, but like vegan condiments or vegan snacks. They have like gluten-free sections, you know, they even have like really specific things like women owned or whatever or like fair trade if you have an order over $49 you get free shipping and they have carbon neutral shipping which is really cool and they use recyclable packaging which first and foremost very important I used to be obsessed with these Nugo dark chocolate pretzels with sea chocolate pretzel bars no palm oil that's cool 12 grams of protein but they're literally like candy bars they're so good this is really just like a favorites video, honestly, because I ordered like a lot of just my favorite things. These vegan dill and sour cream chips, they are lentil chips and they're like really light, somewhat like healthier option, but they're so good. Like I would really recommend this. If they had a good deal on Thrive Market, 
So I was very happy to get them. Also, another one of my favorites. I love this kettle brand. Their chips are just the best. I got some hemp seeds. I was out of hemp seeds for a while, but I kept not wanting to buy them at the store because I felt like it wasn't that good of a deal, but Thrive Market had a good deal on there. Oh, I got some sunflower seeds. I wanted more like crunchy seeds to sprinkle onto things. Oh, some chai, fair trade organic. Their maple syrup, you can get it in like a squeeze bottle. Organic extra virgin olive oil. Love this packaging. Good old silken tofu. I really want to make some spicy ramen with some silken tofu. Toasted marshmallow nut pod. Oh yeah, I did get something home. This was a free, free item. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be this big. I thought it was just gonna be like a sample size, but it's up to 70 loads per bag. I also got some Tom Yum rice ramen noodle soup. I've never tried anything Tom Yum, but this was vegan, so I thought I would try it out. Peppa Pig food paint tubes of organic fruit puree to paint on your food. It's like gel food coloring, but like, healthy. Another thing that I like about Thrive a lot that I also just remembered about because it's printed right here on the box that your membership sponsors a free one for a family, teacher, student, veteran, or first responder in need. That was something that I really liked when I did a video with them in the past too. I thought that was really cool. And if you join today with the link in my description, you could get 25% off your first order and a free gift. Everybody loves a good free gift, you know? Let's just have a chip right now since now that I've seen them, I really want to eat them. Light and airy. How? Let us try. Ready or not, here we yum. Move lid half. Mmm. <laughs> I may have inhaled some. <coughs> but it smells really good. And then I replace the lid for three minutes. I'm ready to eat. It smells so good. Let's try some noodle. It's so hot. Ooh, it's like a little bit spicy. Ooh, she said. This tastes like really good sick food. Like if I was sick right now, this feels like exactly what I would need. Yeah, it's the lime and the, the chili and the ginger. That seems like the best like sick food combo. Feels like good light food for after eating out a lot and eating a lot of desserts and stuff. This is like, let's get you back to help, friend. Oh no. I'm gonna eat some of this right now that I only have a little bit left of. I've seen this brand before. I think I've seen their like hummuses or something. They made cheese! Dairy-free cheese spread made with follow your heart. My aunt got me this and I've been eating it over the weekend, Thanksgiving weekend. I'll have to see like where she got it, like where it's actually from and how much it was and stuff, but it's so good. Really liked it with some crackers. And now I'm gonna have some with carrots. I don't have any crackers right now at home. Would recommend. I forgot that I had pita chips. Just a little. I'm gonna finish these with this. I also thought, why don't I add, why don't I add some hemp seeds to it? Because I haven't had enough protein today. Nice nutty flavor. Mmm. It's so good with pita chips. I'm figuring out what to do for dinner tonight. I have this pizza crust to use up. I got this from Target the other week and yeah, it's just it's just okay. But it works. And I have like a little bit of cheese to use up that's probably getting a little old. But I don't really have like produce for the pizza. I have artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, like canned things. And I have like some frozen spinach. So I was like, I can make like a spinach artichoke pizza. But there's no protein, like protein food. I could like fry up some chickpeas on the side or put them on the pizza. That could be kind of good. Let's make chickpea pizza. Put some chickpeas on that pizza. We have our mix of... Mm, veggies, minced garlic. Stir it all around. I don't know <laughs> what have I created. I mean, if I don't use all this, I'll just put it in a pasta tomorrow or whatever. Looking honestly delectable, so golden and crispy. The only cheese I have is this cheddar and mozzarella style blend, and I honestly don't have that much of it. <laughs> Maybe I should have saved my cheese spread and I could have put that on the pizza, but pizza. It's gonna go in the oven right now. Right now. It looks like, I don't know. It looks like kid's pizza. I guess just because the cheese is like the blend and then the sauce and the, I don't know. This crust just isn't very good. 
It's hard. <laughs> I'm just putting it on on top of all of this and whatever falls off while I'm eating the pizza doesn't matter because I will just I will just eat it with a spoon. Just like a chickpea packed pizza. Hopefully they stay on. I think this is gonna be really good. Yeah, look at that. That's that's really something. That's really good. I'm not lying. Actually, I'm not lying, I swear. It's not the most pizza-y pizza, but it's good. <laughs> Today we're making oatmeal again, but we're making it with some cookies. <laughs> because they... well, hold on. Ooh, milk and cookies oatmeal. That's what I'm gonna call this. Milk and cookies oatmeal. That's the flavor. Patented. They got um, a little crushed cookies from my aunt. Thank you, Aunt Heidi, if you are watching this. Some of the cookies got a little crushed um, in the car, but we're gonna make cookie, cookie oatmeal. I don't know. Banana oatmeal chocolate chip walnut cookies. So they're kind of like banana bread cookies. They taste breakfasty anyways. So I'm like, that would be so good in some oatmeal. We're also gonna have chai today. Yes. Oh, let's put it in this thrifted mug that I have. That's, I found out later it was actually just from Target. It's still thrifted, but it makes it like less fun. You know, I thought it was more special, but whatever. Ew. Cookie bits, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Obviously it will be very delicious. I will just let that cool. Yum. Mmm. Oatmeal really just sticks in there, you know? I'm just good. Oh, this is so good. Oh my god, it's so salty. Hey guys, just went to Aldi. So let's do a little haul of what I got. But I think I'm fine. I'm like finally really getting better at like shopping for being alone. I really have to realize that I have to make some sacrifices. For example, I can't be buying cherry tomatoes and larger tomatoes like I used to with my roommate. I mean, I could if I was like really careful about it, but it's just like, if I'm buying like, you know, multiple things of tomatoes, it's like really easy for them to go bad, one of them to go bad or both of them, because I just don't go through it enough. I got some bananas, I got some green ones. These are gonna be like pretty much all frozen because I don't have any frozen bananas right now for my smoothies. Then I have these two. They were the ripest that I could find there because I want to have like bananas like tomorrow or the next day. Baby spinach, some lettuce. They didn't have the best selection of lettuce. I wished I could have got like a smaller thing of lettuce. I'm just gonna try my best to go through this. But also I want to try to regrow some lettuce maybe. Zucchini, you know, why are they in the plastic? I don't know, but at least it's not styrofoam, I guess. I got a cucumber for salads. Some hummus, I have baby carrots right now. I could also dip cucumber in it. Some rigatoni. I'm gonna make pasta with my leftover like pizza stuff and put zucchini in it. Some mushrooms for the pasta. Some oat milk, which I used to not really want to get because I thought it was sweetened and I'd prefer to not get sweetened milk, but this one, someone let me know in the comments. It has seven grams of sugar, but they're not added sugars. They're just like naturally occurring sugars or whatever from the oats. Whole wheat bread, let me make sure again that this is vegan because that'll be embarrassing. I have sourdough bread in the fridge and I don't go through bread quick enough, especially this kind of bread. Uh, if I want to make a PB&J, I wouldn't normally make that with sourdough or if I just want to have like some peanut butter toast or something in the morning. I think this is good. Also, if I run out of sourdough but I really want to make a sandwich, then I have this. So I'm gonna freeze that. I got some frozen blueberries and meatballs which I think I'll also put in my pasta. I feel like I get these every single time I go to Trader Joe's or Aldi, they have like the same thing at, at both. Whenever I just don't know what to make, I always have some sort of pasta. I always have some sort of pasta sauce. And if I have these, you know, that's just a full meal right there. 
California medley. It's just cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. Like I'm saying, I, I'm trying to be like conservative about the produce that I buy so because I don't want it to go bad. But then I'm trying to get like frozen veggies sometimes so that I don't have to worry about running out of veggies and not being able to make anything. You could put this in a soup or make a stir fry or a stew. You know, I got the Good Planet cheddar cheese for my ramen. We will be making ramen. Um, honestly, number one reason why I needed to get this again was because I needed to clarify what happened in the last video. I, I really confused some people and I'm really sorry about that. This specific package right here is vegan friendly. You know, there's no animal products in it, but there's, there's another ramen pack like that that looks basically exactly the same, but the ingredients are really different. Like there's anchovy and beef powder or something in it. I don't know. There's like multiple non-vegan ingredients. So it's really, really confusing. Like I had a lot of comments on that video where people are like, that ramen like literally has meat in it. And I'm like, I'm checking it for like the seventh time. And I'm like, I literally don't see any animal products. Like I don't understand what the issue is. I have a story highlight about it on my Instagram. If you want to look at that, basically, if you want to buy this shin, ramen pack just read the ingredients because it may or may not be vegan i feel really bad somebody bought at least one person i'm sure it might have happened to someone else too bought a pack of this because i said it was vegan and then took it home and realized that it what theirs wasn't um so i feel really bad about that but it's like a good lesson to just like double check even if a vegan youtuber says something is vegan you should probably double check before you buy it just in case it's a situation like that or i can make mistakes you know i definitely make mistakes so yeah also green peas i use them all up in my soups and stuff and i like to have them for soups and stuff. Last couple things, I got tomatoes. They're not too big, so I could, you know, easily use up a whole one of these in a meal, aka like a sandwich or a salad or whatever. I hate like partially eaten tomatoes. And then avocados. And I really hope my avocados will ripen quickly. Maybe I'll set them out next to some apples or something. But that's my grocery haul. Okay. We're gonna make some ramen. I'm so hungry. Oh wait, I wanted to put a little bit of milk in there because I don't have unsweetened or unflavored creamer right now. So why don't I just put that? It's not sweetened, but it's Swedish. <laughs> not, wait. Let's just put some. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, well, I'm just putting that much. Just milky water in a pot. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Veggies. Health. Okay, I want to put some silken tofu in here. I'm just gonna scoop it out because it's already like... So I'm just like basically just nastily chop chunking it, you know? Chop chunking. Cool. Seasoned and ready to go. I hate myself sometimes. My camera died. But whatever, we got a beautiful ramen right now with like eight leaves of spinach in it. Lovely. We have some fresh green onion harvested from my own green onion plant. Isn't that exciting? Can we focus on whatever? You guys know what green onions look like. We're just gonna chop them into it, straight into it. Straight into it. Stirring it up. Good planet cheese. Can we please get a focus on that, please? Thank you. Let's just put some cheese. I wish I had slices, but the slices were more expensive. Trust the process. Trust Emily. Trust the process. Trust Emily and trust the process. Look at that. It's so cheesy, creamy, and amazing. Mm, so good. Mm, what a day. Yeah. Ow. More chai. Oh. Frozen bread, putting it in the air fryer to toast it. <coughs> Why? <coughs> Peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> mm. Now we have we have blueberry, strawberry, peach. I'm gonna start with strawberry because that sounds fun. Whoa, it comes out fast. Very cute so far. I did a little heart. I don't know if you can. Tell, I'm also gonna do a, an E maybe. That's fun, right? An anagram. 
that what that's called? This one's gonna be a smiley face. They're actually staying pretty well, like in the shape. Let's do a star, obviously. And like, what other shapes are there? It's Christmas time. Let's do a tree. Oh my gosh. How do you do, how do you do a snowflake again? I don't remember. Oh no, this is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen for me. That's okay, that one will just be solid. A circle, that's another shape that everyone knows and loves. Let's just do a nice like stripe design. Very fun. Let's let's outline that. Now it just looks like equal sign. And then I actually have an idea. I'm sorry, I'm just ruining my design, but for the sake of health, you guys all saw it, right? Mmm, that's very strawberry reading. This is very crusty, bro. <laughs> it's so ugly. I'm gonna write my name. There's my picture. Um, mm -hmm. It's almost gone, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat the rest of it. it just tastes like a smoothie. Strawberries, pear juice, beet juice. Yeah, so just like a strawberry pear beet smoothie. For lunch, I had a salad and I don't know if you guys remember, but for a while, like last year during quarantine, I was making a lot of salads with chickpeas as the protein and I would just make the dressing out of like whatever condiment I had plus lemon juice and some seasonings and stuff. So this time I used my hummus and made a hummusy dressing for the salad. Honestly, it was delicious. And I also used some of the juice and seeds from the tomato that I squeezed out of it in the salad dressing, which I don't know if that was weird. I was thinking it was like efficient, you know? It didn't really taste a difference or anything, so um, I would say it was a success. And also um, for dinner, I had a little pasta that I said I was gonna make. I cut up the whole zucchini, one of them, and some mushrooms, and I sauteed those first to make sure they were cooked. Then I just seasoned it and threw in all the sauce and toppings and stuff from my pizza, plus the frozen meatballs that I was trying to defrost and some spinach and stuff. And I added some water to it and like the pasta water and stuff. I was really trying to stretch the sauce a little bit. I realized I really didn't have enough um, tomato sauce, but it still worked out fine. Um, it's just pasta, you know. I have right here the cheesecake that comes with the tofurkey loaf. So tofurkey loaf, it comes with a dessert usually. It used to be brownies, but now it's chocolate cheesecake, I guess. Which like both very non-fall, non-Thanksgiving. But that's fine. It's kind of cottagecore. It's a little strange. I don't actually know how I feel about it. Also, it did not come out. It didn't come out well. It's like very, very lemony. I got a chocolate lemon cheesecake. It's kind of good. Kind of weird. And the crust is kind of gritty. Honestly, I would give it like a six out of 10. Not my favorite. When they used to have brownies in it, the brownies were really good. I don't know what happened to, what's wrong with brownies? When will she take the googly eyes off the air fryer? I don't know. I've been eating a lot of bread lately, haven't I? And then while that's happening, you know, I thought about this chai, having it with the marshmallow nut pot. That makes perfect sense because it's like it's like the sweet potato casserole that I always make with like cinnamon and cloves and stuff like that and then marshmallows. So let's make a marshmallow chai. And we can also use this maple syrup also maybe. Maple marshmallow chai. Maple marshmallow. Maple mallow chai. Oops. These are the cutest little toasties. Perfectly into the plate. I can't do this in the air. I have a little bit of lemon juice that I saved from the lemon juice that I put in the salad dressing yesterday. Pepper. Crushed red pepper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Should we put like hemp seeds on it too or something? Let's put some of my, um, some of these that I forgot to put on my salad yesterday. <laughs> A special crunch. Why don't I eat avocado toast more often? We're just marshmallowing it up in here. This is a bit crazy, maybe. Is it? 
Just slowly losing all European followers. It's interesting. Oh yeah, it's toasted marshmallow. I was like, why does it feel like there's another flavor in here? Toasted marshmallow. Okay. Toasted marshmallow. <laughs> it's good. There's not enough room on this plate. I really don't feel like cooking right now. Um, so we're gonna make this daya. We're gonna make this daya pizza that's been in my freezer for a while. I got it on sale at Walmart. It's a jalapeno pepperoni pizza, which out of the pizzas that I've tried of the daya pizzas, oh, look at the pepperonis. This is one of the better ones, I think. Pizza. I'm hungry right now, so I would love a good appetizer. Um, and I see. I said that I would make an aioli dip. So anyways, there's some lemon juice in this bowl from earlier, yesterday. Some lemon juice and some mayonnaise. Onion powder, garlic powder, some black pepper. And I also bought this rosemary salt. A dip. Very lemony and very peppery. Basically, tastes like a lemon pepper aioli. These are just the most like crunchy, fresh tasting chips. What a very nostalgic meal. Um. Yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around this long till the end of the video. You're a true friend. True friend. What is that from? You're here till the end. Push me. Oh, it's Hannah Montana. Hope you have a good day, rest of your day, and eat a good meal today. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market in the description if you want to get that 25% off and free gift to deal. And I will see you in the next one. It's pretty good. See you later.